Hello, and welcome to the DVR Examiner 3 How-To Video Series. In this video, we will be covering how to utilize clip list filters in DVR Examiner. You can set filters in a couple of different ways. First, you can navigate to the filter icon within the clip list here. Within this table, you'll see that you can filter by date and time or by clip attributes. Let's say that we would like to see only clips that fall within a given time frame. If we enter a start date and time, and let's say our end date is just any time between January 1st, 2014 at 5 a.m. and today, we can select apply, and as you'll see, that narrows it down to only clips that fall within that time range. We can also filter by day of the week. Let's say that we know the incident occurred on either a Tuesday or a Wednesday. We can narrow that down, select apply, and again, only clips which date has a day that falls on a Tuesday or a Wednesday will be returned. In terms of clip attributes, we can narrow down by clip size. You'll use the sliders to narrow down your range. The left slider indicates the minimum clip size to be returned, and the right slider indicates the maximum clip size to be returned. We can select Apply, and again, only clips that fall within that specified range will be returned. You can do the same thing with clip duration, narrowing down the duration of clips that we want to see, Apply, and you'll see it reflected there. We can also narrow down by source if we only want to see clips with a given source, by status if we only want to see accessible versus inaccessible clips, by tags both pre-populated in DVR Examiner as well as some that you may have entered on your own like POI here, the specific channel number, and lastly whether or not a given clip has notes. You will see that if a filter is set, the filter icon will be highlighted. To clear filters, all we have to do is clear all and close, and the filter icon is no longer highlighted. We can also set filters from directly within the columns of the clip list themselves, similar to how you would in a spreadsheet. If we select a few clips of interest that we would like to narrow down, and filter so that only those checked clips are returned, you can see that only clips with the check box are visible. We can also do some advanced filtering within other columns, such as specifying equal to, less than, greater than, or equal to, and we can also set a range. So if we want it to be between that and another date, or we want to see things that only fall on a certain date range or another date range, we can set those filters here. We can also do some advanced filtering with things like tags and notes. Previously, in old versions of DVR Examiner, if we were to filter for notes, we would only be able to filter as to whether or not a note was present on a clip. Now we can do some advanced filtering. For example, if I'd like to see any clip that contains the word vehicle, I can specify that here, and we're only going to see clips that have the word vehicle in it. Even though these notes are all different phrases, they all share that common word vehicle, so they will be returned. Hopefully this video has been effective at demonstrating the various ways that you can filter clips in DVR Examiner. This concludes the how-to video for clip list filters. Thank you.